When you use the keyword spider to find theme words and phrases, there's usually four steps that you go through. The first one is to choose the root phrase for the spider and actually run the spider. Now, the root phrase doesn't have to be the title of your article. For example, if I was doing a website or if I was doing an article on the risks of gestational diabetes, I wouldn't have to type risks of gestational diabetes as the root phrase. I could just choose gestational diabetes. However, I might get more specific words and phrases to use for theme words if I did choose risks gestational diabetes. Once the spider has run and returned the results, you then go through the results and select the phrases that you're interested in. Once you've done that, you can then see how many words, theme words and theme phrases you've got, and if you need more, you can repeat steps one and two. The final step is an optional one, and that is to check your list against the words and phrases in the top 10 results, and then clean the list if necessary to remove those less frequently used theme words and phrases. Let's have a look at it in the software. Here we are on the keyword spider tab, and it's ready to receive my root phrase, which I'm going to type in risks gestational diabetes. And what will happen is the Web Content Studio will go away to Google, and at the moment it's going to collect uh, information from the top 10 pages, but you can change that if you want to. And the other choice you've got here is to use meta tags or page text. If you select meta tags, the search will be a lot quicker. It will just go away and grab the meta, the meta keyword tags from those pages and return those as your theme words and phrases. However, I would suggest you use the page text, which looks at not only the meta tags, but also the content that is on the actual page itself. You can select here, find two, three, and four word phrases, which I, select, I suggest you leave selected. And then this figure here, 1500, is the default for how many words per page to analyze. So at the moment, it will look at the top 10 pages and it will analyze the first 1500 words on those page. I usually change that to about 900 and I don't normally find a big problem with that. It means my results will come back a little bit quicker. Now, before I click the spider button, let me just mention these Google settings. I've got it set up to get my Google results from google.com, but you can select your specific country if you want to. If you do change it, make sure you go into the Launch Google Language Preferences, select your chosen languages here, and up here, there's my English there, selected, and click on the Save Preferences. That will ensure then that the results are in your own language from your own search engine. So let's go back to the Keyword Spider tab, and we'll click the spider, and off it goes to Google to find the top search results. What it will do is it will go to, the, to, to Google, query it once, bring back the top 10 results, download those pages, analyze those pages for potential keywords, and then actually go through the pages again and see which words are actually important. And I'm going to pause the video until it comes back. Okay, the spider's returned with the results, and if you look down in this area, of the taskbar you can see that the spider has 686 potential theme words, 105 two word, 41 three word and 15 four word. Over here theme words is the number of theme words I've actually got associated with my article and TP is theme phrases which are associated with my article which as you can see I've got zero of both. Now the first few times you run the spider, you are going to notice some words which perhaps you don't really want included in the spider. For example, here is one R. What you can do is you can add it to what's called the ignore list. And her, add that to the ignore list. Can, I'll add that to the ignore list. And so on. And that ignore list then will be used for all future projects, which means that those words will not come up in your theme word list. However, if you start adding words to your ignore list, it's a good idea then to clean the phrase lists, because what it will do is it will then take those new ignore list words and remove words from the two word phrases, three word phrases and four word phrases, if they begin or end with those new ignore list words. Okay, the next step is to go through and select the words that we want to include as theme words and phrases. I usually start at the forward phrases. It's my own preference. You can start with theme words if you want and go through and just select those phrases that you would like to include in your article. I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back once I've made all my selections. 
Okay, while I was selecting theme words, I just came across something I thought I would highlight here. We've got the word levels plural and levels singular. A personal preference again, I would just select one or other of them, not both. If you select both, then both will be used in the theme report, but they're effectively the same word in terms of theming, so I would just use, in my case, I would always use the plurals. It's just a personal taste. You could always use the singular if you want, but I do suggest you just select one, because in theming terms, you don't need to have both of them included. Okay, I've selected my words, two-word phrases, three-word phrases, and four-word phrases. Now, what you do next, you don't click this button, Add Currently Selected, because that will just add the one that you've got highlighted to your editor. This button here is really just in case you go back and you decide you want to add a couple more um, without going through the whole process. Once you've selected your theme words and phrases, you go to the Create Report tab and click Add Phrases to the Article Theme List. And then when you go over to the editor, you'll see there's your theme words, there's your theme phrases. And if you look down here, you can see I have 97 theme words and 24 theme phrases. Now that's a little bit over the top for theme words and what I'm going to do next is the optional step four of checking those theme words against the top 10 and then cleaning the theme words. And we do that by going over to this reports tab and you'll see that the bottom button here check theme words against top 10. If you click it I'm going to type in risks, gestational diabetes, and you'll see here that Web Content Studio is now going and checking the top 10 results in Google. If for any reason it can't pull up one of the results from Google, then it will skip that one. But otherwise your report will come back and it will tell you the results, which we'll see in a moment. And this is the screens that come back. We've got this auto-delete theme word, which I'll just remove from the screen for a moment. And we've got theme reports for the top 10 based on the chosen theme root theme words that we've actually selected. If we scroll right to the very end, you can see here we've got a list of how many top 10 pages of theme words were found on. And you can see that some of the words we've selected were only found on one of the top 10 pages. In other words, they're not particularly important. So what, I what I'm going to do is I'm going to select only those theme words that appear on seven of the top 10 pages or you could choose six or five or whatever, but I'm, for this demonstration I'm going to choose seven and click on OK. And if you look at the bar down at the bottom here, you can see now that we're down to 44 theme words. So if we go back and have a look at the article editing screen, we now have um, our selected 44 theme words and still our 24 theme phrases. So just to recap the process of using the spider, you choose a root phrase for the spider and then you run it. Then you select the phrases of interest, go over to the Create Report screen and press the button to add them to your article. If you need more theme words and phrases, you can repeat steps one and two. And then finally, the optional check and clean your keyword list. This will ensure that the theme words and phrases that you're trying to target specifically are the ones that appear most on the top 10 pages in Google.